Hi, Azumi has defended her title 11 times in the past year and has placed herself amongst some of the best in the world and the most elite high-speed champion and the one everyone would soon have to best in order to prove their worth. However, a wild May wielding balloons has Azumi's number, having beaten her in a wonderful high-speed tag match. Azumi doesn't like her either. She doesn't want to be friends with this May. This May, the former May Hoshizuki, now May Seira, is a perfect opponent for Azumi. Similar size, weight, style, movement. You can say this is Azumi facing her shadow self, her mirror, her reflection, her mimic. But May Seira is a different wrestler than Azumi, and this match, like all Azumi high speed defense matches, was a showcase for not just Azumi, but for the other opponent as well, in what will be Azumi's final high speed defense. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? Meerkat! Makato! Okay. Speed running, what is it? It's a gaming term. Wait, what are we doing? Another lecture? Yes, wait, don't leave. Uh, speed running in gaming involves beating the game as fast as possible obviously, but often in categories like any percent being beating the game with no restrictions and then glitchless or in Soul's case, you can do any percent or all bosses, etc. I am currently watching Distortion 2 speedrun only up, and there's just something about a beautiful run in speedrunning. It's ignoring the story completely and focusing on what's in front of you, the game and its mastery of the mechanics, and quite often using them against the game itself. Elden Ring was a meme because if you had the right computer, you could just zip and beat the game in under 5 minutes and fight no bosses, but great speedruns are entertaining through both its mastery of the game mechanics and because of the run itself. Why am I talking about this? Because it's what I like about high speed style of matches. It's what I like about the cruiserweights and it's what I like about the X Division. But high speed hits different for me and Azumi has become like the distortion 2 of high speed. I guess, Azumi with her mastery of in-ring techniques, normally something I wouldn't even care about as much as others do, but she makes me care because she is quite often perfect in the ring, mm. and Azumi uses her mastery and mixes in speed running. She's ignoring the story and cutting the fat from the match completely, skipping past the beats of the normal in-ring wrestling like that whole test each other's portion part thingy, or the whole heel dominating for a bit. Azumi like, nah, ain't got time for that. Azumi can give you the best five minute match you've ever seen, plus the counters and counters and counters. Azumi gonna open up an Ikea when she's done, so let's introduce the Players, May, Sarah, master of balloons, a young wrestler with a whole career ahead of her. And if this is what she can do now, oh boy, we are in for such an exciting career. Versus Azumi, the high speed champion, looking for her 12th defense, facing someone of arguable equal skills. But she be looking for revenge against her. Azumi out to show why her future is amongst the brightest and to shove it in May's face. But May shoves it first. And off they go. May can 100% match every movement of Azumi. It becomes so smooth that if you just slow down the high speed and just witness the beautiful perfection of these athletes, these wonderful performers, the type you could pay a high price ticket for high elite acrobatic theater for here in a high speed environment for the high speed title with a mission involved out high speed the other a combat of constant movement and subversion of movement where a single strike was an opportunity a chess match a thing earned but azumi more than a high speed warrior she's gonna evolve into white and red belt status sooner than later and her lion spirit combat prowess out in full force but may still in high speed mode and it's working Till it doesn't. Azumi skipping past the part where they fight outside and instead dives outside. Picture perfect Azumi, the high speed bomb girl. Even Will Ospreay knows this girl is her. She got the high impact moves, the confidence, the viciousness, the attitude, the pure focus toward her targets, her strats involving the arm, prep for the numero uno, anticipating every movement of me. But not this one. Oh, what a fall! May Sarah after Azumi and reflecting moves right back at her. And Azumi right back in the mix into Spider May like. 
And now the counters and the counters and counters and counters and counters and all high speed matches with the highly intense pinfalls and reversals. It's here where Azumi outshines her opponents to win, but Mei takes out the ankle of Azumi. Oh no, Mei Sarah wrapping Azumi up, but counter a pinfall. Beautiful. No, Azumi Sushi. No, Mei with the pin. No, Azumi targeting the arm, stomps the foot, but may reverse. Azumi counter, and then Azumi sushi. No, double Azumi sushi. No counter, but may. No. Another roll up counter to the arm. Azumi rolls her through, stomps the arm like, damn it, you're gonna tap. And the numero uno stretch. Oh my god. May taps. She has to tap. Azumi has been someone who can match her toe-to-toe -to -toe and defended her title 12 times. She achieved her revenge against Mei, but has gained respect for her all the same. And, oh hi Kashima! Oh, it's this little demon of, oh, Azumi wants her to wait. She's a little early, so Kashima, oh nice. Because this is high speed, and this is Azumi, and she can't end the match without showing that once again, it was about the friends they made along the way, and oh no, Mei doesn't want to be friends, she don't like Azumi, Azumi like, whatever, so what you want Kashima, Kashima all polite, because this polite woman is the nicest, sweetest woman, who would never trick Azumi into a title match, oh she would never, but Azumi already beat Saki Kashima, she doesn't want to face her again, but Kashima all like, yo, that was Rossi booking the match without asking me, that's all Rossi yo, I didn't even consent, because Rossi is always trying to kill her, but Kashima won the rights to any title, and technically never used it, so she's gonna use it, Saki Kashima will get another shot at the high speed title because of a technicality. Azumi like, you okay with that Rossi? Rossi like, what are these young people yelling about? So Azumi instead wants a three way match to make it more interesting because Azumi's confidence is at its absolute peak. And Kashima will be the one to decide. And this little demon of evil cuteness will win the high speed championship. Damn it, she will win because this goblin of a widow tie don't give a damn about making friends along the way. Not when she has the best towel in stardom. No, except the person she chose is most certainly a friend she met along the way. Kashima Sakida. Thank you. A special speed run shout out to my Patreon sponsors. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jeff, the Upshot, Geek, Noise, Dad, Anthony, Kopi, T, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Nyo, John, Terrence, Stanwick, Edward, Kev Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious, Royals, Party, Marty, Punkwicks, Videos, Mina, Shiro, Kawas, Boobas, Venji, Dr. Enzik, Juggernaut, Graphics, Polar Bear, Shut Up, Ingo, Ash, McGee, Boggle, Chicken, and James, 198X. Thank you.